Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And what I got for you today is a review of the Air Selfie 03. It's a, yes, by the name, it is a selfie drone. Never see anything like this. Uh, very small. It's made out of uh, aluminum with brushless motors in here. Um, it only has, it has a 7.4 volt, uh, 240, also seen 270 milliamp per hour battery inside of here to power it. But what's so special about it is um, it has a 1080p camera or 5 megapixel for uh, photos and uh, also it has positioning sensors this is a optical flow positioning sensor to maintain its horizontal position in space and this here is an acoustic sensor that's bouncing sound off the ground to maintain altitude there is no barometer hole in this um, altitude is maintained strictly by the acoustic sensor uh, there so um, mainly I think this is intended for indoor flying the way it's protected and it's got this little rubber bumper around it that's removable um, you actually you have to remove it if you want to use the charger that comes with this to charge it in there um, alternately you can leave it on and charge it via a micro USB port on the back here there's a wall charger and then you got to watch a little red light in here to unplug it once it is fully charged um, another thing about this is this only gives you about three minutes of flight time per charge Okay, because of that small battery. With that in mind, they give you this power bank to take with you so you can charge it out in the field. It takes about 30 minutes to charge it. Uh, it is a very big power bank. It'll supposedly give this up to 20 charges per charge on this. So, you know, you can keep recharging it. Or if you're at a party, again, if you're using this indoors, um, you can keep recharging it until it runs out. So, you know, 30, or, yeah, what is it? Uh, 20 charges times three minutes a piece they predict it will give you up to an hour of flight time with this uh, let me show you how that is charged you have to first remove the rubber band like I said around it and put the micro SD card slot and line this acoustic sensor up with the little notch on the bottom of the um, charging port and just slide it in until you hear and wiggle it a bit until you hear a click and you'll notice green blinking lights I got four green blinking lights that means it's almost entirely fully charged it was fully charged but you know I lost a little bit of that charge since last night since I charged it last night but um, eventually this will turn to solid and that'll tell you that it is fully charged uh, but I'm gonna go with the charge it's got in here now because it's almost fully charged <laughs> so that's how you charge it with this thing again you have to after the flight they tell you that you should fly with this rubber band at all times. So you got to put this rubber band back on your quadcopter uh, for each flight and remove it after each charge or for each charge each time you charge it. Uh, but it isn't too difficult to put it on or off. It's just that eventually this rubber band is going to go away. I did try to fly it without the rubber band and it, it does fly well without the rubber band. I guess they're worried that you're going to break it if you fly without this bumper on here, especially if you're inexperienced with this thing. Well, let's go into a flight of this thing and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, this is the Air Selfie app, available on Google Play and iTunes. And of this, you have three different modes that you can control this from. from this. There's a selfie mode, beginner mode. Let me open it up to show you. Um, I don't particularly like this. you got up, down movement, uh, yaw right, yaw left, and yaw left, or roll left and roll right movement. Uh, that particular function I don't like. And then you got standard control where you actually can use the sticks to control it, and you know, virtual joysticks. I don't like that either, but the, of the three modes that's easiest to control this that I've tried, seems to be this uh, gyro mode where you push down in the center uh, blue circle there and you can tilt it right or left and it will follow your, your moves. And if you want to go higher or lower, you, you press on the upper arrow or lower uh, down arrow. And if you want to yaw left or yaw right, you press the or yaw left and yaw right to the right of the, left and right of that center button. But let's take this off, or get it to take off right now. First off, I'm going to start its camera, so make sure I got it recording. And it is recording. And to take off, you slide the takeoff button there. And that'll start the motor up, and you pitch it up in the air, like so. And that is it. Now let's go up a little bit higher. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Pitching back. One thing about this thing. The 
the camera side is the back side of the quadcopter. So if you pitch forward, you, you're pushing the camera away from you. And I got a wind right now. It's kind of, it's trying to fight a bit. But let's put it right there. Let's see if it holds that position. It's trying. It's attempting. But here I am. How do you like my shirt today, folks, by the way? <laughs> now, if I wanted to yaw left or yaw right, I press that button down and, and move my hand to the right or move my hand to the left. And again, we got a little bit of a wind today and see how much it's got a pitch to fight that wind. So that tells you right away, this thing is mainly, I'm gonna let go with stick, see if it holds its position. And eventually it does. <laughs> but again, it tells you right away, this thing is intended for indoor use mainly. You know, outdoor flying, eh, not so much. Now it does have automatic landing. I'm gonna stop the camera right quick because I want to take a photo real quick too. Stand back and press the button there. And it's taking a series of three photos. Press it again. <laughs> so let's, now let's do a slide to land. Sliding to land. And you put your hand underneath and catch it like so. So you know, it is. it does work mainly indoors, <laughs> outdoors it has problems with the wind. I'm going upwind a bit again. Again, we got about a three dot wind here. I'm gonna to try to do one more takeoff. And before I do that, I'm gonna start the video again one more time. And sliding to take off. And right away, <laughs> that was three minutes of flying time. So see, we don't have much more flying time out of this. So again, now I need to, you know, after a flight such as that, the idea is that you'd put it back into its charging port and charge it up again for your next flight. Okay, um, I was flying some other quadcopters here today, so while I was doing that, I just put the Tech Boy back in its charging port, and it's just about fully charged here. So we're going to go up for another second flight of this thing um, to show how the charging port, how much charge the charging port gives in such a short time. It's only been about 20 minutes since I last flew it. So we're going to put the air selfie back together again. Again, you have to put uh, the rubber band on and off each time. I don't know. That's unless you you could also use a charging cable. Uh, what I forgot to mention this. <laughs> this uh, power bank can also be used to charge the drone via a charging port on the back. There's a micro SD charging port, and they also give you an adapter so you can also use this to charge your phone, um, your smartphone with it. Um, it also, there's also two other versions of this charging bank with a adapter holder on the front here so you can slide in a uh, it holds iPhones uh, 6 and 7 I believe and uh, Samsung uh, Galaxy S7s they have also have a version for that but if you don't have those type of or phones you can still charge it through the charging port here they give you a little adapter to be able to charge it and again you can use this charging port to charge this so you don't have to remove this rubber band each and every time you fly. But again, it took me about 20 minutes to recharge this thing, and we should be good to go for another flight. So let me fire it up and we'll go for another flight of this thing. So I hope you enjoy the second flight. Okay, we are back again, and it, it was very quick to start this up. I gotta say that, it this locks on to the air selfie right away. And I'm um, recording with Mabazin, so putting in the selfie con motion control and starting the video camera one more time and starting the motors slide to take off slide to take off. Wait, gotta do this is hard to do one-handed there we go and toss it up and standing back hello there <laughs> how do you like my shirt again folks this is a nice one I got uh, Erie Pennsylvania <laughs> I look for the most uh, outlandish colors that'll show up on these videos. But okay, let's try that selfie control. Pressing down the center button. And again, to fly out, you gotta fly that way. And to the right. If you wanna do follow me, you're gonna manually have to do follow me. <laughs> so, but it's doing it. Let's bring it in close now so you can see it up close. This is it. Again, it's looking down at the ground there, and it's using the surface texture of the ground and the contrast on the, of the ground to maintain, try to maintain its flying position. 
<laughs> I don't know about how successful it does it. But, and again, it's using uh, sonar to maintain the altitude, bouncing off the ground. So, well, let me stay in a picture of this. Now, let me turn off that and let's take a photo again. Let me step back a bit. Let's go down a little lower too. There. Oops. Let me push it forward because I want to take a series of photos. <laughs> take some more. <laughs> and starting the camera back up again. Video camera is on. So, again, indoors this would be great. Outdoors, meh, I don't know. Pushing it away, pulling it back in. Let's keep it up close for the remainder of the flight. And I have a demonstration. Time to land it. There we go. No power. That gives you a warning. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Let's stop that video. So that was the second flight of the air selfie. And again, after such a flight, you'd put it back in its, slide it back into its case and come back in 20 minutes and go for another flight of this thing. So hope you enjoyed it. This is Quadcopter 101 with the Air Selfie 03 signing out.